Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is going to be part one. I'm going to split this up into two or three lessons, I think. So uh, this is just the probability of independent events. This is a fast lesson. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. And make sure you click the Algebra 2 link at the top right there. Okay, so we have a board problem here. So this will kind of lead us in. Two six-sided die are rolled. Find the probability of each sum. So the sum is 7. Here the sum is 5 or 7. Okay, so here's the, um, uh, the 36 different ways we can roll two six-sided die, okay? So uh, you can get a 1 on the first die, a, a 1 on the second die, a 2 on the first die, a 1 on the second die, a 3 on the first die, a 1 on the second die, a 4 and a 1, and so on, okay? And so there's 36 different ways we can roll the two dice. So where can we get 7s? Well, 6 plus 1 equals 7. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 4 plus 3 equals 7. 7, 7, 7. How many of them are there? There's six of them. So six out of the 36, you guys, which is one sixth. Okay, now this one says a five or a seven. So we're going to include the six right here. And then we're going to also include, remember, or means add them together. So or in math means uh, addition, you guys. So look for the ones that have fives. There's a five. There's a five right there, right there. There's four more. So that's going to get us 10 out of 36. So uh, it's 5 18 okay? Then that other one here, we got a coin that's being tossed three times. What's the probability of getting all three heads? Okay, so here's a, a coin being tossed once. You can either get uh, heads on the, uh, or a tails right there. Now, this first toss has no influence on the second toss, like rolling those two dice. The first uh, uh, die doesn't have any influence on the second die. So we could get a head on the first die, a head on the second die, or we can get a head on the first, a, a tails on the second, or we can get a tails and then a heads, or a tails and a tails. All right, so then I'm going to do one more uh, toss from those outcomes right there, okay? So I can get, there's eight different outcomes right there. So that's my bottom number. That's something over eight. And what's the probability of getting all three heads? There's only this one right here. So it's one eighth right there. Okay. So probability of independent events, you guys. Two events are independent if the occurrence of one has no effect of the occurrence of the other, like flipping that coin. If a coin is cost twice or tossed twice, you guys, the outcome of the first toss, uh, which is a heads or a tail, has no effect on the outcome of the second toss. Okay, so they would be the first toss is independent, or I'm sorry, the second toss is totally independent of the first toss. Okay, so the probability of independent events, if A and B are independent events and the probability of A and B occurring is we just multiply those. The probability of A times the probability of B. We've done this already in prior lessons, you guys. So uh, here's an example on page 717. So for a fundraiser, a class sells 150 raffle tickets for a mall gift certificate and 200 raffle tickets for a booklet of movie passes. So we, uh, we buy five raffle tickets for each prize. So five out of the 150 and five out of the 200 so what's the probability that we win both prizes right here okay so we're going to do five out of the 150 over five out of the uh, 200 so we'll let a be the winner of the gift certi certificate and b is the winner of the movie passes so we just go ahead and follow our formula right there and then i'm going to go ahead and reduce right there and we get one out of 1200 chances so a really small amount that we win both prizes okay all right so same problem except this time we want the probability that we win the gift certificate but not the movie passes okay so uh, this is the same as the probability of A and not B. Okay, so remember the complement, you guys, is uh, uh, 1 minus the probability of it happening right here. Okay, so the probability of of B bar or B not B or whatever right there. Okay, this is the complement right here. So it's going to be 1 minus the probability of it when it did happen. All right, and then we just use the same number. So uh, 5 over 150 times 1 minus 5 over 200. Okay, that's going to give us um, uh, that right there. And then let's reduce them right there. Okay, and then we're going to divide, cross divide by 3 right there. And then so we get uh, our final answer, 13 out of 400. Okay, a little bit better chance right there. Okay, so this is the example on page 718. Okay, so in a BMX meet, each heat consists of eight competitors who are randomly assigned lanes one through eight. What's the probability that a racer will draw lane eight 
in the three heats in which the racer participates. Okay, well this is pretty easy. They are um, each race is independent of each other right there. So the probability that you pick lane eight in all three events is one eighth times one eighth times one eighth. Okay, so that's going to get us one over uh, five hundred and twelve. Okay, all right. If you're in my class, that is your assignment. Nice fast one. Take care.